So this is question number seven from eight point three. Maya invested rupees eight thousand in a business, and she would be paid interest at five percent per annum compounded annually. So here you have to find the amount credited against her at the end of second year. Okay, this question is little bit different than all the questions which we have done, and uh, because of this second part, you have to find the interest. For the third year, okay. So the first part you have to find the amount credited against her at the end of second year. That means you have to find out the amount for how many years? For two years, okay. So for two years. So for the first part, it's simple as uh, we have done in the previous questions. So here our sum P is rupees eight thousand. That's okay. Then R is five percent, and it is compounded annually, so you don't have to change anything. And here N will be two. For the first part, I've told N will be two. Okay. Now for finding the N amount, you can simply put the values in the formula for the compound interest. That is P into one plus R by hundred to the power N. So here your amount will come for two years. I'm writing here two, so that you will be understand that uh, you will understand that this is for two years. Now in the place of R, I can write five, and here hundred, and then it is two. Now we will simplify it. So here the amount uh, will be eight thousand into uh, this part five by hundred. You can write as one by twenty, and then after that you can simplify it. So you will get twenty one into twenty one divided by twenty into twenty. So now you can cancel out. If you can cancel something, so here zero zero we can cancel, and then. Two to the four, so four to the eight. So here it is twenty. We will get. So in the place of this, we have twenty into the square of twenty one is four four one. So you can multiply it. So we will get our answer. So that will be zero two eight eight. So we will get eight thousand eight hundred twenty rupees will be credited at the end of second year. So this we have calculated. Now we will do the Second part. Now, for doing the second part, we have two methods that you can do. So here it is given that you have to find the interest of the third year. So inter interest of the third year means only for the third year, whatever interest he is getting, that we have to find out the interest which he got for the first and second year that we don't need. Okay. So in this question, what can we do? Uh, the first method. In the first method, you can find out A three. Okay. So A three you can find out. Means the amount for three years that you will find out, and then subtract A two. A two means subtract the amount for the two years. So that will give you the interest for third year. Okay, so that will give you the interest for third year. So this is the first method. Okay, and in the second method, you can solve it with the other method. So in this method, what we will do. Uh, you know the formula for finding the simple interest okay that is p into r into t by 100 now in the place of p you will put a2 a2 is the a2 will be the principal amount for the uh, third year okay and then rate will be same that is 5 years 5% and then divided by 100 into t time will be 1 year for the third year only one year interest we are finding So here we can solve it this way. So a two we have got in the first part, so that we can write and then we can solve it. Okay, so this is the second method. So you can use any of these two methods to calculate the interest for the third year. Okay, so interest for the third year, first method, a three means interest for the uh, all the three years minus interest for the two years that we will calculate and that we will get interest of for the third year. And the second method, you can use the simple interest formula. So whichever you like, you can do. In the first method, uh, again finding the a3 that will you will find little bit difficult, not difficult but uh, lengthy. So you can use the second method. Okay. So here the second method I am doing here. So a2 into r into t by 100. I'm writing a2. We have got that is interest for the two years. That is eight thousand eight hundred twenty into rate five into time one year, and then divided by hundred. So we will calculate it to get the answer. We can calculate. 
so you will get 441 rupees so this is the answer for your second part so i'm doing with the second method also so for that method i told first we will find out a3 so a3 will be the principal amount will be same and here we will find out for three years okay so here will be three so that will be this into this we have already calculated so it will come 20 by 21 by 20 so i'm writing it three times and then we will calculate it so here the first three we have already calculated so this came this and then we can write the later one here so after solving this we will get here zero zero cancel so after solving this we 9261 so this much we have got now we have to find out the interest for the third year so interest i'm writing i interest for third year so that i've told you interest for the third year will be how much a3 minus a2 so here uh, we have a3 is 9261 minus uh, a2 is 8820 okay so if we calculate so you will get rupees 144 four, 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 rupees okay so you can use any of these two methods answer will be safe so it's your choice to take whichever you want